For years and years, it's always been the common practice to put all of our nitrogen on in the fall for the following year in the form of anhydrous ammonia. Anhydrous is the, one of the cheapest ways that you can buy nitrogen. It's also one of the quickest ways that you can get it applied in the field with a one and done program. But the question becomes, is anhydrous in the fall the correct time and is it giving you the proper placement to optimize your yield for the following year? Through years of research and study, what we found as a company is that there is a much better way to apply our nitrogen using a base plus program where we put on a certain amount of nitrogen in the spring to help that corn plant get up and growing and then following up in season when the corn can actually use that nitrogen more efficiently. By doing this, we can lower our nitrogen use efficiency ratio, which in today's market, nitrogen is one of our highest dollar inputs, so it can have a huge effect on the bottom line of our farm. Our goal with 360 Y-Drop was to allow growers to be able to apply nitrogen in season up to tassel while maintaining proper product placement at the root of the plant. It looks as simple as just dragging two hoses at the base of the plant. There's actually a lot of engineering work that went into this product, so let's look at some of those details. The biggest priority in nitrogen application is product placement. We're achieving that by using hydraulic hose. It has a good amount of weight as well as natural preset to it. So the hoses are going to stay on the ground at the base of the plant, giving us the placement we're looking for. The two hoses are connected to adjustable wings that can be set either narrower or wider, depending on your plant growth stage or your row width. The base of the wide drop itself is weighted and quite aerodynamic, which helps to keep it down at its optimum position, which is 12 inches off the ground, as well as centered in the row, which gives us that proper placement we're looking for. Each individual wide drop hose is orifice, so we can ensure even flow to each individual hose. We utilize a spring and cable system in our riser that makes it flexible, which allows it to keep the drop centered in the row, while also allowing it to weave through the plants on the end rows without doing excessive damage. After some experience in the field, we realized that there was going to be a need for the riser to be able to lift and clear any obstruction in the field or a waterway or washout or anything like that, which led us to including a breakaway into the riser. The breakaway is a hinge joint with a magnet in the base that maintains the position of the riser under normal operating conditions, but will allow the base to lift and clear any obstructions were they to come up in the field. We know that there are a lot of other options for nitrogen applications, even some others in season, but really the details do make all of the difference for 360 Y drop and ensuring that you're going to be applying nitrogen at the right time and in the right place.